Right, so I've done a few videos lately on trying to hit this club driver further. But now it's also a case of trying to get it more accurate. So let's show you how to hit straighter drives. Right then guys, so distance is really, really important. And if you look at strokes gained, if you can pick up extra yardage with driver, it can really make a big difference to your game. But if you're hitting driver all over the place, which my first game out the other day, definitely that showed, front nine couldn't get driver in play and really, really struggled to kind of get the game going. Back nine was better, but really, really kind of lost my feeling lately with driver. A few little swing changes, um, definitely a different feeling in my swing at the moment. So I've adjusted my setup. I know this is better, but now there's some new software on TrackMan, some artificial intelligence called Tracy. I'm gonna hit some shots, I'm gonna demonstrate it and show you just how that artificial intelligence can then create a very structured practice session for you. Now, ultimately artificial intelligence doesn't tell you how to do it and this is where a coach still becomes really, really important. But by having a structured practice session with some great feedback, can I start getting this club in play and giving me the opportunity to score better than I have been? Right then guys, so like I said in the introduction to this video, I've definitely been working on trying to get some speed back in my golf swing. And I've been working a little bit on kind of my lead wrist position and definitely found it's helped with my irons, but, but definitely in here I've struggled a bit with driver. And I had my first game of golf the other day and the first nine holes, I just hit this absolutely everywhere. So it's gonna be really, really interesting to look at this new bit of software on TrackMan, the artificial intelligence. I'm pretty sure, well, I know what it is that's letting me down, but let's see what Tracy comes up with and let's look at the kind of practice session that it can then generate for me with this driver to help me hit more fairways. And like I said, I'm not, overly bothered about being on the fairway. Don't mind semi-rough, but certainly where I have been hitting the ball lately, just can't score, can't play from there. So I think it takes about half a dozen shots. So I'm gonna hit half a dozen. We're gonna see what the results are, see what the results for the artificial intelligence are, and then take you through the practice session and see how with Trackman 4's help, I'm gonna improve hitting more accurate drives. So half a dozen shots, off we go. So there's a fairly typical one at the moment, very, very left. That one a little bit better, probably saved a little bit by the strike there. That felt better. It's a great strike, but you can see a little bit of shape the other way, which then if I've started turning it over, I can't afford to aim down the right in case I hit that one. But it is that feeling that I've just lost the feeling with driver of what I need to do to get the ball in play. I certainly don't want to necessarily give up yardage, but for now I could hit one or two clubs more into the green from the short grass. Okay. Three more. Felt left. Yep. So again, that's kind of the shape I would be expecting. But because I'm aiming straight, not really sure on where the ball's going, even that one potentially gets me into a little bit of trouble. And good. So let's have a close up look at what Tracy thinks of my trajectory and my ability to hit target. So it's saying there, for my trajectory 91 out of 100, which is great score, we can see there my average carry 252, total 276, so absolutely on the money. It's saying draw should be the shot, and draw is the shot I am hitting. 
and we can see there it's saying 17% of my tee shot straight, 83% left. Now, like I said, I know that's the case then that if I'm hitting the draw, I can aim right, but I don't want too much shape and that one that stays to the right, I can't afford that to be in there. So what can we improve? So we're looking here at my swing direction, okay? So we're gonna click on start focus practice. Now this is where this is really, really good for constructive practice. So it's saying that my swing direction optimal needs to be 5.2 degrees to the right from the inside. Now, the reason my swing direction with driver needs to be to the right is that the bottom of my swing is behind the golf ball and as the club starts working up, it starts working more to the left. So clearly showing there that what I've been working on with my irons of swinging a bit more left from my direction because the low point's after the ball, I've been doing really well with irons and I'm clearly doing that still too much with my driver. So it's gonna get me hitting shots and it's got a little scale with my swing direction, anything from about three degrees to just under eight. And as long as I get my swing direction in there, it will give me a little blue mark to say I've achieved it. And if I don't, there's some good feedback on whether I'm out. So let's hit a few shots, try and improve my swing direction and see if that gets my golf ball closer that, to that center line. Okay, so my swing direction was good. Definitely would have got my club face a little bit too closed on that one. You can see up the left hand side, I was swing direction, I was almost between zero and two. So that needs to be a little bit more exaggerated and that'll help me, if my club face control is good, set the ball off in a better place. But even though the result wasn't great for the first one, the swing was better. There we are, on the money. 5.5, 5 5.2 5 is perfect, but we can see how much better that tee shot is straight down the middle of the fairway, and from there, I should be able to fire at some flags. So let's do a few more and see if we can get, get that feeling really grooved. Nearly. So swing direction again was good. So I know with me, and this is why I've changed it with my irons, that when I feel more from the inside, my hands very often get a little bit more active, but I don't mind. This is really keeping me focused on swing direction. And we can see my first three, absolutely the movement I'm trying to get. And again. On the money. Not the perfect drive, but more playable. Got a little bit out of the toe. But that's a very different shot. And I can live with that last shot. That didn't feel a great strike, but if I can get my good ones in play like they always are, and then those ones that aren't quite right more down the fairway, that gives me that opportunity to score from there. Right, let's go one more. So, so far, five out of five. Let's see if I can get six out of six with my swing direction. Again, good. Club face not quite as close to impact. So club face was just a little bit to the, uh, to the right but we can start to see with some really focused practice and good feedback, starting to get my tee shots more in play. Right then guys, so you can see from that practice session there, definitely what I've worked on with my irons, as I said earlier on, has been good and my iron play has been really, really strong. Didn't necessarily think I was swinging driver exactly the same as I was with the irons, and I wasn't. My swing direction was still very slightly to the right, but not exaggerated enough. So the artificial intelligence is great that it highlights that that's maybe the major issue. As I said at the start of the session though, 
it doesn't replace the coach. It only says what the problem is. And to be fair, I know that's an issue. I've been working on it with irons and then maybe just taking that too much into driver. But where it's really, really good with this new session is you can then create that very focused practice where you're just getting your feedback on that one area. And then like we said, every time I did it right, it's really nice from a confidence perspective to see that little blue number pop up to show you've done it right. You can start there matching what you're doing with a feeling and then hit more good shots, be able to take that feeling to the golf course and start getting this in play. So if you do get that opportunity, to, I mean, you might already work with somebody who has TrackMan, so they're gonna have this as an extra little tool. If you are looking for some coaching though and you're not sure, you know, check out the TrackMan locator and maybe just give a guy a, a go who's got this level of feedback. He just, or she, might just get you hitting the most accurate tee shots and playing the best golf you've ever played. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like and share it, comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed today's video and you don't currently subscribe, please consider clicking the subscribe button, ringing the notification bell, and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.